Good evening everybody, I feel enormously privileged to join you tonight to honour a man who did so much for broadcasting in regional New South Wales and particularly regional Australia. A Paul Lockyer, a man I admired as the leader of the Nationals and representing in Parliament a lot of people from isolated remote communities have many stories to tell. There was no one better than Paul Lockyer in bringing those stories to the households of everyone right across this country. Uh, this is a fitting tribute for a man that did so much to make sure that we're aware and conscious of the many trials and tribulations that face people in the bush and those stories will stand time in memoriam as a great reflection of not only his professionalism, his dedication uh, to his craft but also his dedication to the wonderful people we have in rural and regional New South Wales. I'm delighted to be here uh, with his two sons to present the Paul Lockyer Memorial Award in honour of outstanding broadcasting in regional Australia. Uh, just quickly before the nominees, um, Dad was the most remarkable man that I've ever met. Um, together with chopper pilot Gary Tyshurst and camo John Bean, um, the trio formed a formidable team. Uh, they are all sorely missed, and I'm sure like many others who aren't here tonight, uh, we know they're looking down on us. Uh, it's fitting this award is in Dad's name. Uh, as a country boy from Courage and WA, he loved being a voice for Outback Australia. Uh, so the nominees uh, for Dad's award are Tom Lowry from the ABC Mid-North Coast. Dan Sutton from 10 Eyewitness News. And Adam Harvey and Dale Owens from the 7.30 report. And appropriately, the winners are Adam Harvey and Dale Owens. Adam Harvey and the 7.30 report team exposed the connection between methamphetamine use and domestic violence in hundreds of regional indigenous communities across the nation. The young victim and her boyfriend were both using the drug ice. Focusing on the town of Brewarrina, the 7.30 team persevered to win the trust of locals and uncover the distressing impact of ice on local families. It's a real honour to win an award named after Paul Lockyer. He's very sadly missed, a great journalist, and uh, thank you very much. I'd just like to thank uh, Simon, cameraman, and uh, Fred who edited the story, because without those guys, obviously, our stories would be nothing. Thank you.